Previously on OMG, we bought a house. We have some really exciting news. We bought a house. Oh, shoot. The master bedroom is where it's at. This is like why I wanted this house. It's big, it's got this really cool add on with these French doors. I hate the floors. It has been raining nonstop ever since we got that driveway out, and now our yard is just one giant mud pit. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we bought a house. Kate, door. Coming! Oh my gosh, guys. OMG, we're back. OMG, we bought a house. In Episode our own house. 5 million. 5 million and 2. Point 2. Uh huh. We are doing a lot today. Guys, we have done so much in this house. We're like basically at the end. I know we've been saying that, but we really truly are. But what we've learned being homeowners is that it's really hard to end it. There's always new and different things to do, right? Yeah, and there's, you know what? There's a lot of redoing things. Yeah, there's a lot of You make mess mistakes. Mm -hmm. Especially when you do a lot of things yourselves, you make a lot of mistakes. We're gonna come clean today, guys. We are going to come clean on our mistakes. We're calling this episode OMG WTF. No, OMG, we did this wrong. Can you say it with a little bit more well, it, no, I'm not gonna go, OMG, we did this wrong! I'm not excited about it, I'm like, OMG, we did this wrong. So as first time homeowners, we've learned a lot and we thought it would be really helpful for you guys and also potentially humorous to witness some of our mistakes. You guys remember when we first moved in, we had those red floors in our master. The floors are brand new, they're nice and shiny. I thought they were veneer. I thought they were like fake wood floors because they're so darn shiny. They're solid hardwood, so the plan is to refinish them. I didn't mind them that much at first, but I came to loathe them with Kate over the years. That's what I do to people. And the reason why they're different from the rest of the house is because the master bedroom was an extension in the 60s, so they decided rather than doing the small plank oak floors that are throughout the rest of the house, they did these weird shiny red floors. And the mistake we made is we never replaced them. We were just like, you know, it seemed like too much to tackle at the time. And Budget wise, whatever, yeah. yeah. But. We wish we had changed them. We finally are changing them. Because we're finally changing them five years later. We came across this company, Revel Woods, mm -hmm. who we've been talking to, they're sponsoring this and they are the coolest company, actually. The thing that's so intimidating about doing your floors is it's such a process, right? You have to go to the flooring store, you have to talk to salespeople who don't, or they're not really the nicest people yeah, ever. Yeah, like what is a and good quality floor? Like what should you spend your money on? So the whole thing with this company is they're disrupting the flooring industry because you can buy it all online. Woods. Revelwoods.com. Okay, get started, shall we? Let's see here. We're so basically we take a quiz, enter our project name. We love a quiz, it gets to know you, and then the, the I guess, the little man that lives inside the computer, <laughs> it gives you some suggestions of flooring that you might like. It's all right, we don't need radiant heating. Well, we don't have it. Well, we could put it in. N no, uh, we don't have room for that. We don't got the budget for that either. No. What is the level of activity in this space? Low, I'm gonna be sleeping and <laughs> relaxing. Okay. You get to select four different woods and they send you samples of each of them. Oh, okay. Traditional American, contemporary, industrial, rustic. Um, not American traditional because this is like an English storybook house. So probably like rustic, I guess. Really? Warren. Let's yeah. see. Light, light. Light wood, medium or wide plank. I feel like a wide plank will be cool in there. Sure. Because like but the rest of our house highlight is... Highlight how big that room is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what they recommend. Ooh. Ooh, I like that one. Which one, that Winnipeg? One. Yeah, Winnipeg. Okay, so let's get a sample of that. Ooh, okay. that would be so airy in there. Add to sample box. What else do you want to try to get? I, I like, like this the naughty. naughty. <laughs> naughty. He's so naughty. Okay, get samples. Okay, add sample to box. I like this ah ahinsa. Easy for Although, you. Although that's a little brown, right? Yeah, I don't want dark. Because also like. Ooh, peace bomber. Okay, that's great. Okay, so then we got four samples. Great. 
They'll send us the samples. We'll decide on the final. We'll place the order. It's finally happening. <gasps> You're finally I can't your believe floors. it. Oh, new floors are beginning. See, if we went to the store, we'd now be like, okay, we gotta go like find our car. Oh, I'd be all right sweaty. In. You'd be really stinky. <laughs> samples will just show up. And then we'll decide. It'll we should be so I great. Go to Winston Roxy and think of our selection. Great. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stay here actually and enjoy the, the nook. Wake me up when the samples arrive. I love all the samples that we picked. So we got them all in our little sample kit and we had a variety of finishes. We did some like darker ones, some more rustic ones, and then some really light ones because I have this fantasy of turning the master bedroom into just this like beautiful, beachy, really light and airy room because it has some of the best light in our entire house with the gorgeous French doors. And I ultimately picked the Winnipeg. It's a whitewashed look. It almost has like a Scandinavian vibe to it. So floors, truck, delivery. Okay, great. Get all these inside. I'm gonna go inside. Okay, I'm gonna go inside. No, I called it. I called it inside already. I called it. I called it inside. No, no, I called. No, Joey, Joey. Get him inside. Let me know if you need help. How's it going? Fine. Wow, your shoe closet has never looked so good. My shoes are protected from dust. My garbage bag. I emptied my closet. Kate gave up the halfway through. So I took out all of my clothing and put it in boxes because I figured that would collect more dust. The shoes, however, I'm... Oh, you're making this sound I'm like it was a calculated a, plan. Mm -hmm. It's called, it's and like not, a wrap And not job. just you all of a sudden going, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm over this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take half the stuff out of my closet and put plastic over the other stuff. Not even just plastic. I took giant trash bags and cut them bigger. And then, t you know, it worked. All right, guys. Say goodbye to the red oh, floors. Wow. I found my... What? I found my floor install installation goggle. <laughs> it's steampunk vibes, guys. Because why not? One last uh, floor cuddle on the red floors for good measure. Aww. Oh. Ugh. I'm sweaty from getting Ugh. everything out of here. Ugh. Ow! My goggle. We did one last rug cuddle on the redwood floors. Wood cuddle. A wood cut. Oh yeah, that. There was no rug, it's uh... I mean, look, we're hard on the redwood floors, but like it's time to send them to college. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna rip them out. <laughs> we're gonna send them all to college. You know, sometimes you just gotta throw the kid out of the house. <laughs> so you just demo out your old floors. These floors were uh, installed with just nails into the wood subfloor. Wait, Kate. Yeah. Ready for the big reveal? Yeah. One. Two, three. Your new floors. Before we put in the new wood, we have our moisture tester. Because you want to make sure with wood floors that you're not crazy moist. Okay. <laughs> we'll let that hang out for a little bit, pick up the moisture reading. It's a more humid day in LA, so it's gonna be a little higher, but you wanna in like between, you know, like 35 to 55% humidity. Percent um, moist. You wanna make sure it's just the right amount of moist. Ew, uh, don't get low with your voice. What are you <laughs> doing? You're so creepy. You wanna get high with my voice? Moist? <laughs> no, not with a lisp. Do not. Moist? No, no. Sorry, I need, I need a moment. You, you like it low. <laughs> no! <laughs> you want to make sure it's not moist. Because <laughs> obviously if there's moisture, your woods can move, but that said. Move, this is, this is a technical term? Yeah, because they, they, they swell. They uh, swell. Ew, moist and swell. No, no, no. These are engineered hardwood floors though, so that's not as much of an issue. Fortunately for us, 
the subfloor is in great shape. There's already a plywood subfloor, really. Thank you, homeowners in the 1960s. You yeah, put a nice job, subfloor guys. in, it lasted a while. So now that we have the wood demoed out, it's time to dry fit it in. <gasps> so dry fitting is basically where you take your wood and you make a layout, but more importantly, you're cutting your uh, edges from one wall so that you see like we have like our doorways you have or to cut around all the yeah the doorway molding you made fun of me for these and now you need them safety first ladies and gentlemen they're comfy huh that's why it's gonna go around the where the, the room corners right there we just gotta cut it around the molding and when you're dry fitting you want to just make sure that you're leaving you know, enough space for your uh, boards to move a little bit because the board will sometimes go like this if the if the uh, moisture is weird. All right, so the way we're attaching these floors is we're using this sort of vapor blocking uh, glue, which basically is this really heavy duty glue mm -hmm. that forms a sandwich in between your subfloor and your new floors, and it serves a lot of purposes. So we're just putting that down. We're placing the wood, have your soft mallet. Soft mallet has like a nice rubber end, so obviously you're not damaging any of the wood planks as you're hammering them into place. But yeah, they're all, you know, uh, tongue and groove. Yeah. Like they're tongue and groove. I don't know what they, I don't know if those are tongue and, groove. tongue and groove. Well, they've got like a little lip that fits into Yeah, so, so you yeah. just basically puzzle piece your floor pieces together, put them into place and use your rubber mallet to get them in. Yep. The floors look so good. Oh my gosh, they made such a huge difference in there, right guys? The floors look so good. Yes. You just have to do some finishing touches. Yeah, I'm gonna redecorate a little bit in there. Should we welcome it into this universe though with a rug cuddle? Yes, of course. Okay, so these floors are gorgeous. Yeah. And I didn't great. want to distract too much from them. I just want to keep things neutral, right? Neutral bedroom. Neutral, like kind of almost beachy vibes. Let's Ready? see it. <gasps> oh. Beachy vibes! Uh, this is a really soft jute. Welcome new Winnipeg. Flooring. flooring. We will put a rug on you, but not too big of a rug, a nice, small braided jute rug that's soft, bringing a little bit of a natural element, you know, keeping with the beachy feel. I might also do a matching one of those over under the bed, but slightly bigger, but you know, not too big to cover up your beautiful window. But let's keep the room simple. Of course. Oh, this there is a vampire <laughs> lowering. There was a story of a house built in 1923. 27. Built in 1927. <laughs> you always think it was built in 1923. It had two creative weirdos move in. And go, OMG, we bought a house. And we finally gave Changed you the floors the of your dreams. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is always the most unflattering angle. Oh no, not a spoon. Or this sort of not a spoon. This is how we sleep this at night. This is like a side spoon. This is like a chip clip. You know I have another one that matches that's a little bit bigger that's gonna go under the bed. Don't worry. Just enjoy the no, rug cuddle. No, enjoy, out. just be just, quiet. You no, know, because you just need to take a second no, just every take once a in a while enjoy to enjoy it. it. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I do it. it. <laughs> another big thing that we like, we're lazy on, and in hindsight should have fixed right away is we never had blinds on any of our windows. Yeah, so. <laughs> we saw yes. in the comments like, how do you guys take showers? And the truth is, is our backyard is pretty protected. So. Except when the gardeners come over. So yeah, yeah. there have been a few times. A few close calls. Where I've had to do the naked duck down. You know, I see the gardeners out there as I'm getting ready and go <gasps> and disappear down below the window ledge, so. Well, you guys know we're extra, so we couldn't just get regular blinds. No. We got these nice linen roller shades that are automatic. It's like my I made it moment where I wake up and the blinds go <sighs> All right, so obviously that was a big project. We finally did it, five years later. But you know, it sucks, guys. We did something else wrong. Remember those beautiful floors we put into the uh, garage? Remember that big pond that we had back there at that point where we were fishing? The monsoon when our driveway flooded? Yeah, so here's the thing. So here's the thing 
about water? You move into a house that's 100 years old and you kind of just assume it's got all its kinks worked out. We were like, you know, this worked before. So like, let's just put the driveway back in and slope it to the street. And yeah, just a nice little downward slope to the street. It'll drain should out. Should be fine. I yeah. mean, so. Don't no. do that. <laughs> because it didn't do that. And instead what happened is all of the ground got so soaked underneath our beautiful finished gym. And that made the floor that was in there buckle. Where's your broom? Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're back to this. I mean, we had it's such a beautiful, sad. I know, we had such a beautiful gym. And then we did it wrong. So what are we gonna do differently this time? To the what floors? are you, my teacher? Or my parents? So what are you gonna do differently this time, Joey? What did you learn from your mistake? Moisture is your enemy. The problem was we didn't moisture test before, which was stupid. I will, I will take that. We thought our concrete slab was dry. We put a self-leveling concrete on top to just level out those old floors, and that didn't bond correctly because yeah. there was still moisture in the concrete. So we had to completely redo a lot of things. The biggest thing we had to do is we had to rip up a lot of our yard and put in proper drainage. Yeah. Um, so you, you guys know. remember we landscaped and put in all that grass and plants? Well, we had to rip it up in places. Well, we didn't have to rip it all out. In places. We and put in 16 drains throughout our yard. And our house is not that big. It's not that big. Drains. 16 drains left. And it all correctly flows out to the street, which is where you want your water to drain to. Not under your new pretty gym. And we've moisture tested the concrete now that we've removed the entire subfloor. We have our whole garage now on our driveway. Yeah, we had to move out everything that we put into the gym previously. It's all piled up in the driveway, covered with a tarp. It's also now currently 110 degrees outside. So all of our equipment's gonna melt all before we have a chance to put it back in. Leaking. We're gonna match the flooring from the bedroom, yes. which is a good- More Winnipeg from it's, our It's wall. a good win out of all of the losses of that. And then we'll have a finished gym again. I know. Again, round two finished gym. We'll be back in business in no time, I promise. I think the lesson there is like, when you see symptoms, don't ignore them, right? We thought it was fun to just like go fishing in the pond while it dried out. We should have been like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, why, why is there, is there a pond back here? In our All right, we've learned a lot of little things also along the way. One of the things that bugs me kind of on a daily basis, but we're still too lazy to get the ladder out, is when we put up our chandelier in the breakfast nook, we used a beautiful ceiling medallion but we didn't paint it. Well, it was white. But what happened is whatever material it's made out of has sort of yellowed over the four years. Well, no years. one told me four years ago that you had to paint ceiling in the night. I well, know that I now. Well, I bought a paintable ceiling down and we were like, ah, it's white, we'll just put it up there. And that is the highest peak in our house. We need like the extra tall ladder to even be able to get up there. So are we gonna take it down and paint it? Sure, yeah, we should. Or just get up there with a paintbrush. You get up there with you a paintbrush. You get up there with a paintbrush, your arms are longer. Anyways, paint your ceiling medallions before you put them up 20 feet in there. A big journey of trial and error in this house has been the cats. Because everyone- Very, if you have very pets, precious members of our family. Yeah, if you have pets, the struggle is real. You know the struggle. The struggle is how to not have your house smell like them. Right. You want people to come over and not know that you have pets. So they just like appear and they're like, oh my gosh, you have a cat? I didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> how did you disguise the it, smell? Exactly, because they're either going to the bathroom or their food's out or whatever. There's just all kinds of things to deal with. Yeah, they're either like, Right, going to the bathroom or eating fish. <laughs> yeah. So you guys remember that we, our first solve was to put the litter in a fake closet that we built. Then we upgraded to the cabinet. Which the solve there was we actually put a hole in our wall to the outside and gave them their own personal vent. Yes, this was a game changer, you guys. So now they have a vent that goes out to the outside world. So whenever they go in there and do their stinky duty, the smell just wafts out into the outside world. The other big thing we got them were these really cool high-tech microchip feeders. Yes, because we've had to quarantine Winston into the other room while he eats because he's trying to eat Roxanne's food. So we found these really cool high-tech feeders that read the microchip that your pet should already have, if you don't have Microchip your pet, your pet. Chipped, chipped them, 
Um, it's just a tiny little bead of rice they put in their neck. It's not a rice, it's the size, size of, of a rice. Piece of rice. Yeah. So yeah. they have feeders that read those chips, and also when they're done eating, they close automatically, so they keep the smell in. All right, guys, the moment you've all been waiting for. <gasps> the final the house final tour. house tour. Ready? Oh my gosh, I'm so Close ready. your eyes, close Ready? your eyes. Close Ready, your close your eyes. Okay. Ready? Mr. Great Experience, one. Open your eyes on three. Mm -hmm. One. Two, three. Oh, no. psych. Psych. We have already done too long of an episode. Yeah, you guys don't want to see any more episodes. No, right? no, sorry. Next time we will be bringing you an epic final house tour. It'll be the last video in this whole series. OMG, we bought a house. We've been living in it. We got to end this series once and for all with an epic house tour. Oh man, oh my get gosh. excited for that. Subscribe so you make sure you know when that video hits your inbox. That's a thumbs up. Thumbs up as well. Yep. <laughs> Use your thumbs up to subscribe. Leave us a comment below and let us know if you're a homeowner and you've learned anything from your mistakes. We'd love to know. Right? Yeah. Share the knowledge. Share the knowledge. And um, I might need to order some more floors so we can redo the rest of the floors in the house for the final house for us. What? Saying, yep. <laughs> What? It'll be so fun! We already know how to do it. We've got those goggles. It's gonna be great! See you later, guys. Alright. Yeah, so Bye. we're gonna be doing all new. Cause like think about how good it's gonna look with our black and white color palette and everything. Yeah! Mr. Kate! <laughs>